Okay, now we're going to look at my favorite data structure, uh, which is a binary heap. And I really like it because it's so elegant how it works. So earlier we learned about queues, which are first in, first out structures. Uh, basically the same as waiting in line. So you get in the line and you wait till the, you get to the end and then you get to get out. So if you're the first in, you're the first out. If, if you're the last in, you have to wait for everyone else. An important idea uh, that you can change this and create a variation is the idea of a priority queue. So a priority queue is where everyone in line has a priority assigned um, and the person with the or the item with the highest priority is always the first one out of the line. So let's see how this works. Suppose you have a nightclub that's really popular and the doorman of the club has a system for everyone in line when they arrive at the club to get in line, they pay a dollar amount to the doorman. Well, good for him. What he does, he then puts them in line according to the size of the amount. The higher the amount, the closer to the front of the line they get placed. So here's a picture of that. So a lot of people have arrived and he's placed and every one of them has given the doorman a certain amount of money. And the person who paid the most, this woman here, uh, gets put in the front of the line. And the person who paid the least, doesn't look very happy about it, uh, is last in line. And then every other person that paid him or group is put in order from front to last. So once this person goes in, the next person in line is, the, is now the highest and so on. So let's formally declare that. Uh, these are the details of, of a priority queue. Uh, for discussion, many times we'll just refer to this as the queue. Uh, in this whole section, we're really talking about a priority queue. So the front of the queue has the highest priority. The back of the queue has the lowest priority. The items in the queue are arranged so that for any item, all items in front of that item are equal to or higher in priority. And all items in the back of that item are lower or equal priority. And we can see how this works. We pick out any item like this woman here at 150. And you can see everyone behind her has a smaller or equal value. And everyone in front of her has a bigger or equal value. And that's how the priority queue works. Any new item that's going to be inserted must maintain this order of the queue. So if we insert someone new, maybe for uh, $200. So you look and you see, well, $200, you have to put them between these two people right here. So that they're more than everyone behind them and they're less than or equal to everyone in front of them. So you put them between the 190 and the 140 if someone new came in and gave the, the uh, doorman $200. So how are we going to implement this? Well, we could use a list. Just put everything in the list. That would take O of N time. And then we could sort the list, which takes log uh, N log N. And to combine those two big O's, and you would have a performance of N log N. You say, well, that's not bad. Seems like we have to sort these people anyway. Uh, it turns out you can do a lot better than that. And uh, we're also going to see that we're going to use a, a very simple structure. So a classic way to implement a priority queue is in a data structure called a binary heap. A binary heap will allow us to enqueue and dequeue items in log n time. Uh, so that's really efficient. And uh, so we can put a new item into the line and we can take someone out of the line in log n time. So the performance will be very fast. So whenever we diagram a binary heap, uh, it's going to look like a lot like a tree. So the binary heap is what we're going to use to solve this. So it's actually a binary tree. It's a tree that has up to two children each for each node. And in fact, it is a binary tree. Uh, but we're going to implement it using a very uh, just one list. So we're not going to use a linked list structure like we did in the previous binary tree or a structure of list within list. We're just going to have one list, which is linear. It's going to have index numbers starting at zero, running up to uh, the last item of the list. Now, just to point out, there are two kinds of binary heaps to implement these uh, priority queues. There's what's called a max heap, 
which is priority is given to the biggest value, and there's a min heap where priority is given to the smallest value. The max heap where priority is given to the biggest value is like the nightclub. The highest priority is the biggest number. Uh, a min heap would be where the priority given would be given to a smaller number.